evening, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with SureCall. Today's host, Jason Hayes, uh, will be presenting today. If anyone has any questions, feel free to submit them in the question box, and Jason will answer them at the end of today's presentation. Jason, I am finished for now. Please go ahead and take over. Okay, thank you, Julie. Uh, welcome, everybody. I appreciate you taking the time to be on the webinar. Uh, today's webinar, I believe, is scheduled for about 30 minutes. And uh, just depending on how much time I have at the end of this, I definitely want to answer your questions and, um, and possibly go into some other products that are not included in this particular presentation. The presentation today is, is a, a pretty basic kind of high-level overview of SureCall and uh, our product. Uh, so I'll, I'll just kind of dive right in and, and then like Julie said, I'll, I'll take questions at the end. So some of the things that we're going to discuss today is who is SureCall, uh, what causes a weak cellular signal, some of, the, some of the reasons that people drop calls. A lot of this will be familiar to you, but, but some of it won't be. Um, how our product works, and then kind of a brief product overview, what we have to offer as a solution for the problem. So really quickly, let me tell you a little bit about SureCall. SureCall was founded in 2001. Um, our world headquarters are in Fremont, California, not too far from Microcom. Uh, we design manu and manufacture award-winning cell phone signal boosters. Um, our, the owner of our company is, is actually also our head engineer, and so he's, he's got a good pulse on the industry. He's got several patents uh, and several more patents pending uh, for kind of innovative technology in the signal booster market. Uh, we also offer the best-in-class support for our dealer partners. We, we do our own uh, building design and layout for solutions for signal coverage in large buildings. That's a free service that we offer if you've got um, an installer or a customer that, that really needs some help on a complicated project. Uh, we, we have a, a quick one-page questionnaire that we'll have you fill out or have them fill out and then from there we can do a, a design layout showing exactly where we recommend that they place antennas and and run their cable for optimum coverage in that building. We also have a full-time tech support staff, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time, and the best warranty available in the industry, which is a three-year warranty on all of our products. And some of those products are actually uh, extendable. The, the warranty is extendable to five years. So. That's something that we're very, very proud of. Nobody else offers uh, a warranty like that in the industry. So really quickly, um, I want to talk about why SureCall, kind of what sets us apart from other boosters in the market. We're the innovation and performance leader. We have uh, really high quality products. We're considered more, um, more geared towards the enterprise market or the industrial commercial market. Uh, we have less than a 1% return rate, which is the best in the industry. As you can see from this image here on my screen, our, this, is, this is kind of uh, depicting the guts of our booster, if you will. And you can see this compartmentalized design where you've got the, the different barriers in between uh, the electrical components. These are our filters. And so as we're boosting all the all the carriers' frequencies, we're we're filtering and protecting each of those so that you have clearer call quality, higher data speeds. Um, there's no overlap there, so it's it's a really high high performance, high quality booster. You can see separate uplink and downlink lanes. You you probably uh, aren't seeing that, but it's a it's a very uh, it's a very beefy. Uh, filter process, um, and we keep everything separate for max performance. <clears throat> so, 
So really quickly, what causes a weak cell signal? I'm sure all of you that are on the call have experienced a, a weak signal or a dropped call at some time of your life. Uh, if you don't experience that on a regular basis, you're one of the lucky few. Most people do almost daily. And so some of the big things that can cause signal loss, uh, the obvious ones would be distance from the cell tower. When you get remote, you know, you, you get too far away from the cell tower, you can have issues. Also, believe it or not, if you're too close to the cell tower, it can overpower your phone and that can cause issues too. Terrain, uh, mountains and, and trees uh, can actually cause signal problems. The most common one in cities, though, is the building materials. We, we've gone to, you know, low E glass, a lot of metal, a lot of concrete, um, radiant barriers in windows, metallic window tint. All those things can cause signal issues. And so oftentimes what you'll find is that your customers can can make a call just fine as soon as they walk out the front door of their, their facility, but inside they have a real issue with signal. And that's where SureCall comes in. So there are tons of applications for the SureCall product. In building, obviously, home and office, uh, small, medium, and large buildings. Pub public safety is a big one that we'll talk a little bit about later. Schools and universities, hospitals, hotels, you name it. There are signal issues in all of these types of buildings and solutions that SureCall offers for each one. The other ones would be we also offer uh, vehicle solutions for cars and RVs and fleets and, and boats. And so if you come across that, we've got a, a solution there as well. So really quickly, how SureCall works, um, this is a a real basic layout, a basic diagram of how a typical uh, home or office installation would look. And there are three basic components within a booster setup. The first is the outside antenna, and you can see that on the building here. Um, typically, we like that antenna on the roof. The higher, the better is the rule of thumb. We do have some smaller systems and, and some, some other options for antennas. Occasionally, you don't have access to the roof, and so we've got uh, signal catcher antennas and things that can be mounted inside a window to bring in whatever signal is available. From that outside antenna, we then, uh, using coax cable, connect to our signal booster, which is the heart and soul of the system. It takes that weak signal and boosts it uh, to a usable signal, and then from there, we go to the inside antenna, or if you look at this big building, we've got a, an inside antenna illustrated on each floor to disperse that boosted signal throughout the building. So again, those are the three main components. Outside antenna to bring the signal in, booster to enhance it, and inside antennas to distribute that boosted signal throughout. And so <clears throat> as we get into this more, you'll see that we have a lot of options for different applications. The, the big thing that you want to keep in mind is how big is the building that we're trying to boost and that'll that'll give you a really good uh, navigating point on what product you need. <clears throat> so on the in-building solutions I've kind of listed out a, a couple of these and and kind of an MSRP and these are broken out again by square footage of the building so some of our most popular in-building solutions would be Fusion for Home which is kind of our small office home office solution uh, recommended for areas up to about 4,000 square feet and then from there we've got the Fusion 5S which which bumps up to 12,000 square feet and then the 5X which gives you just another little uh, bump up from there which is 15,000 square feet. If you have a really big building um, or you have something where you need a really large simultaneous user capacity uh, the Force 5 is, is one of our flagship products for, for the really large buildings, up to 25,000 square feet. And with all of these products, and especially the Force 5, uh, they're scalable. Uh, there's no programming required and, and no special things that have to happen. You can, you can uh, approach a customer that has a 100,000 square foot building and confidently uh, recommend 
four force fives because each one covers 25,000 square feet and four of those systems in the building will accommodate that coverage without interfering with one another or causing any issues there. We already talked a little bit about the, the warranty on this, uh, but you also have a 30-day money-back guarantee on this. And so if the customer tries it and it's just not working for them or they're not happy with it for whatever reason, that 30-day money-back guarantee is a, is a nice uh, feature to make them feel comfortable and safe in trying it out. Also, um, these boosters are all 3G, 4G, and LTE. Everything I've got on the screen is going to boost signal for voice and data for any phone, any carrier. And so uh, this, this is going to eliminate missed and dropped calls and, and improve your data speeds and call quality, et cetera. Uh, the, the public safety booster that we have, you can see this, this big red box here. This is a, this is a public safety tri-band booster. It's a Guardian 3. And so if you, uh, I don't know how much you guys come across the public safety, uh, market or a pub public safety need, but this is something that I wanted to put in here and kind of point out to you. This is a huge market. Most, most municipalities now have pretty strict requirements for what's required inside uh, buildings of a certain size, even if they're really old buildings. Um, these public safety guys are having to go back in and, and put something like this in there. And essentially, this is, like I say, tri-band, tri so 7, 8, 900 megahertz, all the public safety frequencies. Um, it, uh, it, it can be you can add additional systems to this as well for really large areas, but this will go up to about 80,000 square feet. Um, has all the safety features. It's got the NEMA 4 enclosure and all, all the things that the fire chief wants to see. So, uh, like I say, we can get into that a little bit more if there's a need, but I wanted to let you know that we definitely uh, accommodate that as well. So, um, a couple of qualifying questions, um, you know, for larger buildings when you when you have somebody on the phone and they're just asking, you know, what do I need? What kind of a what kind of a product should I get here? One of the first things we always want to ask is, if you step outside the building, are you able to make a call? And typically, we will tell you that if if your customer can't make a call outside there's probably not enough usable signal to bring it inside and then and then boost it throughout that building. Um, the situation where these products are going to work the best is where you can't make any calls inside, but when you walk outside, you're, you're able to at least connect and make a call. If that's the case, then, then our, our booster will do a great job. So... Um, I'm going to I'm going to skip over some of this stuff as far as far as you know settings and things. This is stuff that our tech guys would typically go through with you, but um if we have questions at the end surrounding this, we can dive into it a little deeper. <clears throat> so, for finding the outside signal, there are some ways that you can do that with your phone, uh which I just kind of skipped over. We also we also offer our SureCall signal meter which is a, a great survey tool for your customers or for your installers that are out in the field. Um, they, can, they can, using the sig signal meter, detect signal from all carriers and easily see what's available and what they're going to need. So the signal meter can be purchased and, and uh, that's something that you can offer to your installers if they need it. We also have a one-page site survey for you guys that are out in the field. Um, I mentioned earlier that we do uh, we have a free design service where we'll take we'll take this site survey sheet and um, using the information that's provided to us, we will come back with a free uh, recommend recommendation and design um, where we'll actually kind of map out where the antennas should go and, and how many antennas and what booster we recommend, lengths of cable, all those all those things. And so um, I've kind of got a side-by-side -side comparison here of a, a 
a bad site survey versus a, a really good site survey. And so, you know, there are some basic questions here. Which carriers are you looking to enhance? Uh, that's great. Um, do you need uh, signal boosted for voice and data? In some cases, people don't care about the data. They, they don't need the 4G boosted. They just need the 3G for, for calls. And so you can go through and, and see all this stuff. Um, specifically, question number five, what's the square footage of the building? You know, um, on the A-plus uh, questionnaire, you can see he's got it clearly noted here, 28,600 square feet for each floor for a total of 7,200. Uh, sorry, 572. Uh, where on the the bad site survey, he's just got C floor plan. You know, C floor plan. Uh, I've actually gotten these back, believe it or not, where where um, instead of filling in the information we need, I've had people say, you know, uh, Google Maps. See Google Maps. <laughs> um, the the more information that your guys can give us on this, the better we'll be able to, to help them and come back with a system that's really going to perform properly. <clears throat> so this is an example of the complete uh, configuration, the design that we would maybe come back with uh, on a given floor. And you can see this one's got a couple of outside antennas and, and some boosters here and a bunch of inside antennas and everything kind of clearly noted out uh, the key at the bottom of what's what. That's that's what you want to have come back, and if we have all the information up front, that's what we can give you. So as far as support, um, we're we're here at your disposal. Um, we've got a full staff that that supports uh, all of our dealers, and so we have a, a certified installer training that's every Tuesday and Wednesday. I've got the times right here. Uh, Julie McDonald actually has this presentation as well. So if you need these links that I've put up for web access to that training or the conference call number, the access code, Julie can get you all that. I can get you all that as well. Um, we also have uh, a link to our product catalog here, uh, data sheets, user guides, our YouTube channel. Um, we've got a full asset library under this uh, SureCall marketing support here. So this link will actually take you to, um, and I can show you this here in a minute once I'm finished with the presentation, where you'll have folders of each and every product and specs and, and all the information you could ever want. So that's the end of our, of our overview presentation. Really quickly, this is um, I'm in I'm in the asset library right now. That link that was in the presentation there, and so you can see I've got a lot of the products that you all are familiar with. Uh, a lot of the products that we just went through. There's one more that uh, Dave and I are talking about that I think Dave will probably be bringing on, and that's our flare. This is for a smaller coverage area, right around you know. 2,000 or 2,500 square feet of boosted coverage, and this is this is a good one for a smaller home or a you know a college dorm or an apartment or something like that, where you know it's got a an outside antenna here that you can mount outside on the roof, uh, and then the inside antenna and the booster are both built into this unit here. It kind of looks like a a big Hershey kiss a little bit to me. But um, you get the idea. It's it's a lot simpler, so you don't have as much coax. It's a simple install, kind of as close to a plug and play as you can really get with something like this. And so, check out the asset library when you have time. You can really go through and look at any and all of these products. Here's our Big Force Five, and you can go in and and get all the specs that anyone needs. You can download these and email them to your customers, and they're jam packed with tons of good information. Um, I feel like I've been talking really fast and I've been talking a lot, so I'm going to take a breath here and open it up for questions. Thank you, Jason, very much for that wonderful presentation. And it looks like we do have a couple of questions for you. I'll read them to you. Um, is your customer service accessible 24-7? You know, that's a great question. Right now, no, our customer service is not available 24-7. Um, 
it's really just those hours that I mentioned. You know, uh, our tech support team is out of our main office in Fremont, so they're on Pacific time. That's something that we're probably going to be expanding uh, very soon as as SureCall continues to grow. There's a definite need for uh, more round the clock type tech support. However, um, you can always send an email to tech support or to myself or to any member of our team and, and we'll have an answer for you just as soon as we get into the office. Uh, but right now, it, it's just the standard business day that the tech support is there. Thank you very much. Um, is your tech support and customer service, I guess it's basically the same thing, how would you rate them? You know, we pride ourselves on our customer service. Uh, um, if you if you talked to any one of our customers, I think that right at the top of their list of why they love SureCall, the top top of their list would be service and support. We go out of our way uh, to really uh, answer questions, um, get content. I've I've got a full marketing team that. Uh, at no charge helps people all the time with their website and you know latest content images videos you name it so we're really here our whole team is is centered around supporting our dealers and our customers thank you Jason um, I definitely have some comments here that your presentation today is just fantastic and they really appreciate it and it looks like I've got another question for you uh, you mentioned money back guarantee. Would that be handled by us, Microcom, or would it be handled directly with you? That's a great question. Um, we prefer that that that's handled through Microcom. Um, you know, whatever channel the the customer purchased it through. So if they bought it from Microcom, and you know, within that 30 day time, they want to return it. Obviously. It, it makes more sense for Microcom to handle that and then for us to stand behind Microcom. And so if somebody needs to return something within that time frame for any reason, we'll we'll back you up on it. You know, um, when Microcom needs to return something uh, and they say, hey, this was in the 30-day uh, return policy, then that's good enough for us. We'll stand behind you. Thank you very much. And again, uh, comments on what a fantastic presentation today. And thank you for answering those questions. And thank you to everyone for attending today. And if anyone has any other questions, feel free to contact your sales rep or email us at sales at microcomtech.com. And if you wish to view any of the products mentioned or shown here today, please visit us at www.microcom.us. Um, please remember this webinar presentation was recorded and it will be uploaded to our Microcom YouTube channel. So if you'd like to reference it again, you can view it again on YouTube. And Jason, you did send it to me so I can certainly email the presentation to anyone who wants it for the information you mentioned earlier today. Thank you again, everybody. Thank you, Jason. Everyone have a terrific day. Thanks so much.